Hello, I'm Jack Koenig with Graco Industrial Lubrication Equipment, and today I'm here to talk to you about the basics of an automatic lubrication system. An automatic lubrication system has four main components. A pump, a metering device, a controller, and everything else just gets wrapped up into the term accessories. And you can get carried away with how many accessories are offered for automatic lubrication systems, and that frankly intimidates a lot of people. So we're not even going to get into a lot of accessories today. The metering device for this video is going to be the single line parallel or injector type metering device. The pump that we're using here is the G3 Max and it has a built-in controller. So this encompasses two of the main components here already, where we have the pump with the reservoir on it, and then we have our controller built in. And then again, here is our metering device. And then some of the common accessories with an injector system. Well, a common accessory with every lubrication pump is one you can't see, but there's a low level switch inside of this reservoir that's built into the whole pump assembly. So a low level switch is probably the single most common accessory for an automatic lubrication system. The next thing that an injector system needs is a vent valve. This vent valve is hidden mostly behind the gauge, but there's a manifold here and then you have an electric solenoid here and there's a cable. This yellow cable is actually the power cable for the vent valve. The next thing would be some tubing or you could use a hose. We just had an existing tube here that I made use of. And then another really common accessory for injector systems would be a pressure switch. The pressure switch just gets teed in right here to the inlet, but if there were multiple banks, we would put it near the end, but not at the end. And then the last thing would just be a cable to connect the pressure switch back to the controller, which again, in this case, is built into the pump. Let's just take a quick look at how these things operate. We're gonna press manual run. And now we can see that the pressure in the system is starting to build. The gauge is going to be pulsing upward and the injectors are starting to fire. And once this hits pressure, you're gonna see a light come on on the pressure switch. There, the light came on and now the vent valve has opened. And the whole purpose of the vent valve is to vent the pressure back to the reservoir. So the way injectors work is that you pressurize the system and then that pressure is what provides the power to cause these injectors to dispense or fire as we commonly say. Once they've dispensed their full volume, they stay extended at their full stroke, if you will, until the pressure is vented. And then when the pressure is vented, they put a metered shot into the unit and all the pressure goes back into the reservoir through the vent valve. So then when we run it again, the same thing's going to happen. We're going to see the pressure gauge climbing. And I have this pressure switch set at 2500 PSI. There's a relief valve built into the vent valve that I also set a little bit above 2500 PSI so that if the pressure switch ever failed, the extra pressure would just vent back to the reservoir via that relief valve. But you can see here the grease is dispensing. These are also adjustable. One of the benefits of injector systems is just its simplicity. They don't offer as many accessories and as many features as a series progressive divider valve system, but overall the main advantage of injector systems is their simplicity. One other feature is the indicator pin on the front of each of these injectors. So as we run this one last time, we can see the pins extend right after the grease is dispensed. So once the pin extends, you know that the grease has already been dispensed and that the injector has basically already fired. In this injector, the pin is just showing that it's metering the next shot. So this basically is a metering chamber here. And then now as it vents, the pin drops back down and it loaded the next shot into the dispense chamber for the next time we pressurize it. So that's a real quick look at how injector systems work and the basic components needed for an injector based system. If you have any questions about G3 pumps, injectors, vent valves, or any other Graco product, please contact us. We are always happy to hear from you.